Hi, Tamsa Lover 119, and I'm just going to be showing you how to install a hamster hammock. Um, I just made like 20 videos on how to make the hammock, but they just all turned out so bad. I'm just going to be getting another bag, and I'm trying not to show my face because I look really bad right now. So I guess I'll just make it to my room right after school. Um... So, I'm showing you right now how to install it, but the next video will be how to make it. I know it's like a backward order, but I've just made it. I've just made like three hammocks, and it's like, it's like, I don't know, 8 o'clock, and I just don't think I should just be sitting here making hammocks. I should be like doing my hair and getting ready. Obviously. So, I'm just going to tell you how to install the hammock. Um, on your hammock, if you were using wire instead of ribbon to dangle it, th this, um, you don't need to use like any paper clips or anything. To hang it up, you can just like bend the wire, fit through the hole of the cage. So I'm just using paper clips because I don't, I don't like the look of just like wire. So I'm not using that. So like I said, obviously for him you need a mesh like cage at the top. I hang my hair tears right about on here and I put like the tree dangles um or wire which is on most cages unless it's something like plastic. My hamster Snooky used to have a critter trail and um one of the reasons we got a mesh tape mesh top tape because um it was she um it was just plastic and you couldn't hang your ears. Like really cool treats and stuff. So make sure you take this out and you're just gonna like take it from the top of the mesh and then kinda like lift it up. And then just kinda bring it down. So it's like up at the top. And then, right here. And then you just want to pick it up high and bring it down. It's really simple. And then after you get it, like, right top, you're going to, like, squish it down. And just, you get it right through. So we have three-thirds of our, three-fourths of our hammock hung up. And as you can see, there's that one little section hanging. So, I think she's there's room ribbon at the top, like, doing this, like, look, I know where, and I'm just going to cut that off at the end. Um, I like this hammock because, um, I think especially made for my hamster, so, I hope she's going to like it a lot more than me. And, um, I actually did have to buy a new stuff. And I had cloth in there hanging around. And what? Here's a, a quick little tip for your hammock. You can just use like hair ribbons to close up. And everyone like has strings with ribbons in their house. I just know from like projects or something. And then you can cut up an old shirt or towel, like a shirt that you don't like it out of style. But it might be installed for a hammock. You know, just like little shirts when you had when you were a baby. Perfect idea. Or a towel that's all raggedy. I mean, I really don't think your small pet doesn't care. Like, maybe your hamster's like, ooh, I need juice to tour hammock. 
or Chanel hair. My hamster doesn't really do that. She doesn't really have such. I. She doesn't know that. I mean, I don't even know her. I don't even know her. I don't even know her. Um. Okay, this one just fell off. I just gotta get her. Yeah, that really, really quickly. Um. I like these, um. I like camera cleaning. The first couple of days that you have it in your monitor, like you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm wearing this little hammock. Um, I mean it's just so cute. If you want to put ribbons on the side, you can. But I love this. Um, it's close. Like her cage is like this, so obviously it's like not even in, off the ground. Um. I just, I just love this one. I know he's not gonna love it. So I'm gonna go try it out and we can make a little video on my response to it. So thanks for watching and comment, rate, subscribe, and um, tell me what you want in the video. Message me or comment. Thanks. Bye.